Okay, here we go. Well, hey, we are back again with Jim Wood from the Antler Spireside Grill here in Canadian Lakes. Jim, it's been a little while since we've been with you, and you're going to do rabbit on this week's show. Now, we're into the small game season, so let's jump right into it. What's the best way to cook a rabbit? Well, the best way to cook a rabbit is low and slow. Low and um, slow. I mean, it's, they're constantly on their feet. They're constantly running, so you got to break down that muscle in a, in a slow fashion. Stuff you'd get at a restaurant is a lot different. Okay. Um, you know, they don't move out around nearly as much as a wild uh, rabbit does. So. Okay. So how do we start? What are we going to do to start? And we're doing a one pot thing, which I kind of like. It's a simple, pot, yep. straightforward. You could even do it on your tailgate of your truck if you needed to. You could. I've never had rabbit on a tailgate, but it sounds interesting. <laughs> so we're going to start off by giving each of our legs here a little bit of salt. After that, we're going to take our rabbit, we're going to dredge it. I've got a combination here of uh, all-purpose flour, uh, a little bit of garlic powder, and a little bit of onion powder. Okay. And what kind of oil was that, did you say? This is just uh, vegetable oil. Yeah. You can use butter. You can use whatever oil you want. It's not going to make a dramatic difference in, in the dish. Okay. Um, but whatever your preference is. Gotcha. So basically, like I said, you're, all you're doing is browning this. You just brown both sides? Yep. Okay. Once you get a little brown on it, you're going to go ahead and flip it over. And you're going to give it another 30 seconds or so. Now these little brown bits that you see in the pan here, mm -hmm. that's all flavor. And it's going to get released later on when we add some liquid to the pan, okay. which is just going to flavor the dish as you go. So once you get your brown on all sides, you're just going to take it out. Then we're going to add a little bit of bacon to the dish because, I mean, bacon makes anything taste good. Why not? Exactly. Turn our heat down a little bit. And then we have what's known as mirepoix, which is a combination of onion, carrots, and celery. Oh, okay. And then we're going to add that right to the pan also. Celery in there. Okay. And we're just going to kind of sweat, saute these down. Release, yeah. release the flavor and the fat from the bacon itself. And so what do we got there? This is just Chardonnay, white wine. Okay. And we're gonna let that reduce down till it's about dry, which will go pretty quickly because we only added about a half a cup. So once that reduces down, then we're gonna go in with our mustard. So this is a very classic dish, it's kind of my interpretation of it. It's called mustard rabbit. Okay. Um, so we're gonna add about a quarter cup. And that's just what kind of... This is whole grain mustard. You can use Dijon mustard. Um, don't use the mustard you get in a squeeze bottle that you put on your hot dog. Um, okay. That's not going to taste as good. This whole grain mustard has the grains in it, so it gives a little more body. Gives the final dish a little more, a little more flavor. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and we've got three cups of chicken stock here. If you, you can make this yourself or you can yep. buy it in the store. And if you happen to be a hunter who makes their own rabbit stock, Perfect. Even better. Perfect. Okay. So after that hits the pan, I've got some fresh herbs here. I've got some bay leaf okay. and some thyme. Nice. And we're going to drop our rabbit right in there. And then would you cover it and let it cook for a little while? Yeah, we're going to simmer it, let it cook for a couple hours. And when it's all done, so this is on a low medium heat here. Low, or this low heat, yeah. You're just looking for a simmer, okay. and we're going to cover it, um, which is going to create some pressure. And when it's done, we'll actually take the rabbit legs out, add a little cream. It's going to be it's going to be pretty thick at that time. But if we need to thicken it more, we will. And then we're just going to put the sauce right over the rabbit. Okay. Well, let's let it sit for a little bit and do its thing. 